It was a little bit sour. You'd smell it everywhere. The sofas would smell like this. His shirts, himself, the house. Waxy, kind of beeswaxy. Hi everyone, C Chronicles here, back again with a fragrance review video. If you're new on this channel, my content consists of mostly fragrance reviews, but I do throw in lifestyle content, fashion vlogs, and that you know sort of thing. So if that sounds like something that you may be interested in, guys, please do consider joining the family by subscribing. And to my returning subbies and supporters, thank you so much for the continued support. I appreciate you as always. We have a fragrance to review today. This is supposed to be of Flavia Perfumes or sterling perfumes because there's two names here it was listed under amarf so i thought oh wow let me you know purchase it at least if it's an amarf uh, i love the quality of uh, the you know amarf fragrances and what it probably means is maybe this is a subsidiary uh you know of amarf and they are duping 101 if not then i stand to be corrected the bottle is sits there i'm going to show you in a bit and then this is the top now this is obviously an attempt on a pen halligan's uh fragrance the bottle itself looks like this and if you're familiar with the pen halligan fragrances you will know that you know they are they come in, in this kind of bottles and the cover as well the fragrance is, itself is called georgians the lion heart this is an attempt on a pen halligan's roaring reclaim now disclaimer i don't have that fragrance i'm not comparing this fragrance with that fragrance i am just going to tell you my thoughts based on my nose uh, so we're going to give it a couple of sprays there i love of the atomizer already i can say i am surrounded by this woodsiness spiciness something in here feels a little bit sour and there is a faint sweetness there to call it a sweet fragrance i think i might lead mislead people it's coming across almost as if it's like sour or something like that and let me state this i get a blast of what feels like alcohol this lasts for about three minutes or so and then it gives way to a boozy cognac kind of rum you know feel so this asserts itself almost immediately or five minutes in it asserts itself as a boozy scent if you are one of those people that love boozy fragrances this is definitely going to be a recommendation from me to you yeah and I, I get a light feel of a spicy ginger uh or perhaps let me say cinnamon because i have smelled this kind of cinnamon you know in a couple of middle eastern fragrances this does not lean middle eastern it is niche in quality like it's not a common dna uh, but at the same time it's got a cinnamon done in uh, i would say maybe the way it's done in mohra this is just an example i'm not saying this and that is the same fragrance this scent profile has a nostalgic kind of feel it immediately transports me to when i was young i'm an 80s baby this transports me to those days when i used to watch I would say the cowboy movies or, you know, the Chuck Norris movies where you have a couple of, you know, gents sitting around a pub uh, and it's an oaky, oaky kind of setting and it's dark and they're taking shots and stuff like this immediately takes me back. But to bring it closer to home, there is a tobacco -y thing here that is quite prominent i'm gonna try and put a picture of it if i can uh if, if i can of a tobacco my grandfather used to smoke the, the the kind of raw tobacco that you you roll you know like either either in a in a piece of paper or you stuff it in a pipe and if i'm not mistaken it was called shamrock it had this thing of you'd smell it everywhere the sofas would smell like this his shirts himself the house the lounge it used to smell like this and there is that prominent note of a tobacco that that feels like that it's not a smoky kind of smoke cigarette uh tobacco it is like a rolled up you know tobacco if you purchase this fragrance i would love to know if you get that as well because i get a lot of that and that is coming through with this rum the rum is not going away you are gonna get this booziness for the longest but this realistic kind of tobacco we think you start to smell 15 20 minutes 30 minutes especially if you put your hand to your nose you can smell this i wanted to be absolutely sure i sprayed it in the room uh, in the lounge on a cushion and i left and then i walked back in after about 30 minutes 45 minutes and 
it was just that smell i i couldn't ask my kids if they smelled the same because obviously they're not from the same era so if that helps you know uh that is what i can say about this it has also an oaky feel that you're gonna get there but expect to carry a rummy uh, you know cognac feeling rummy boozy fragrance uh, fragrance with that prominent leafy tobacco that is what i get and then amidst this i'd say you know in its dry down again as you enjoy this fragrance it does have like a waxy almost like a honey feel that you get there but it doesn't turn into like a sticky sweet fragrance it just maintains a waxy kind of beeswaxy thing that wraps around this rumminess and the um and the tobacco and the rum in itself or cognac whatever they've used start to kind of weigh down in the two hour mark going forward it then starts to kind of feel less of that and more of that leafy tobacco Back. but it's a fragrance that lingers it also has like a gentle uh thing about it it's not a loud kind of in your face oh my god i'm blowing people out kind of fragrance but with this gentle but beastly nature it endures this is a fragrance that i could smell the next morning I was testing this fragrance around 12, 1 p.m., somewhere thereabout. I sprayed it on my arm. It settled into like a beautiful lingering fragrance. It does project pretty well. And it is a composition that is beastly but comes across as uh, subtle as well. It also leans unisex, but I would say masculine leaning for uh, the ladies who love ultra feminine fragrances. You might find that this leans a little bit more masculine than the regular, you know, unisex fragrance, especially in its dry down. The, the opening of it, an hour or two, you will enjoy this, you know, booziness wrapped in a gentle sweetness, but because the sweetness tends to, you know, dry down and it has like a soury nature to it 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 will tend you know to be a, a, a fragrance that a lot of females who uh, maybe like you know the femme fatale fragrances the sweet pretty fragrances may find it leaning more masculine you know way in the um way in the dry down like, maybe like three hours in you start to get wafts of what feels like a like a definite you know masculine scent when i sprayed it when i was testing it my arm stayed like this for a while looks like this is oil based so because it has like a higher concentration of oil uh they didn't call it an extrait but i think it does perform like an extrait they called it a parfum uh so it's obviously not an edt uh but to me it performs like an extrait so uh for that reason i think that is why it has like a decent lasting power so yes guys if you can get your hands uh on georgians the lion heart it looks like sterling perfumes or flavia perfumes happen to be a subsidiary a subsidiary of a mouth and if if they are a subsidiary of, of a mouth it means that this is the um you know this is the the the, the, the this is going to be the factory maybe that is duping 101 where they copy the box they copy everything and as you can see they've gone ahead and copied that pretty good fragrance on its own as i said before i'm not comparing it with uh, uh penhaligans you know roaring red glyph because i don't have that fragrance however i can recommend it on its own price wise i think i paid about 30 dollars for this fragrance so it's going to depend on where you get it if you cannot find this fragrance just as yet give it time because some of the fragrances that i bring here you guys say are hard to find but it's just a distribution thing and eventually these fragrances you know will filter into the market c chronicles is my name thank you so much guys for joining me today i was here to talk about georgians the lion heart a beautiful boozy unisex fragrance with a great lasting power sits in this packaging and has that telltale pen halligans you know kind of packaging so if you are into this kind of fragrances and you don't mind you know this kind of duping where they dupe 101 this might be a recommendation if it's your favorite then there you have it you've got yourself a cheapy there please do turn on post notifications guys that's where you get to be notified anytime i upload a video like and share this video if you like it and remember that smelling good is a form of good manners cheers